he did. First, they tried to admit it. We wanted him to gain confidence. And then they tried to paint the picture as if this man is crazy and we're all crazy for thinking that that, that they would ever take the pads out of the gloves. And so I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to read this uh, statement left by boxing coach Barry. And then you can tell us if this was really left on your Instagram so people can know this is not Photoshop. And mm-hmm. then you can tell us who this person is, why he's important, and what he has to do with the situation. And I'm going to read the statement now. Okay. okay. So the statement that he left on, on Instagram was, uh, this was one of the dirtiest things I've seen in the industry. Boxing sucks. The sport is beautiful. The industry sucks. The day you left, I actually helped, uh, you know, excuse me, I actually flipped on them inspiring. Ben apologized and asked me to quiet down. Tyson was cool. He knew they were wrong, and I don't believe it was his decision. They were trying to hurt sparring partners so he could gain confidence. They changed the gloves the next day, and I put this picture up to show Tyson Fury with the same gloves on. Mm-hmm. And you said he took the padding out. And so yep. now what you can do is you can tell us if that comment was really left, and you can tell us who that person is and why he's important. First, that comment is uh, true. That's boxing coach Barry. He was Lawrence O'Coley's boxing coach. Um, Lawrence O'Coley is a cruiserweight from the UK, up and coming cruiserweight. You know, he's up and coming cruiserweight from the UK. And then when they, when we originally were going to go to camp, I called other people like Cassius Cheney, another black fighter. I called him. I said, "Yo, this Tyson Fury's camp getting ready for Wilder. Are you about to head there?" And then he said, "No, because they're not allowing coaches to be in the camp, which is weird that to not let your coaches be in the camp because that's who protects you and watches over you." So right. now the protection and responsibility goes to the person who's the owner of the gym. That's how it just works. It's not a sanction. It just works like that in boxing, just like a, a brother, brotherhoodly trust of a snake game, you know? And then like, um, they, so we, um, yeah. So we found out like, uh, so boxing coach Barry, we were going through that. We were training with boxing coach Barry. He does all these, uh, different techniques and stuff. And then we go in the back. Tyson's like, I'm gonna put my sparring gloves with you. He told me that the other day. And then the day after we sparred, they said we're supposed to spar again the next day. But then no, because I fucked his ass up. And then um, we went to go. Uh, we went to go like go like we're basically done working out. And I went to go look around the gym because I haven't really saw the wild card boxing gym downstairs because it's like exclusive for like exclusive big time fighters. So I went around and I went to Tyson. I saw Tyson's shoes and these were sparring gloves. I picked them up and then I started shaking them. And I was like, I, I took them out. I was like, yo, guys, look at this. And I squeezed his glove and a bunch of like just foam fell out the bottom. And then if you look in the, if we stuck our hands on the inside and there was like a little cut with padding, like being felt like it being pulled. And then we checked the other gloves of other fighters in round there. And then we checked the glove, another glove had an egg those little egg weight things in there those little right. uh, hand those little hand pound weights those new ones that you can shadow box with right. one of those were inside of a glove now i don't know if he's taking like the padding out of a glove and sticking the hand weight in there and then taping it so it's like flimsy with the hand weight at the end because right. he is because you know like a paper bag would be like it blows in the wind but his his thing is like snapping and making contact it's like right. a whip almost with like a separation of his what a separation of his hand it's like snap 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 and right. like um, so and then we found out Isaac Lowe was also sparring people with like 12 ounce gloves in his way. And then that's like fighting. That's like fight time gloves. He's sparring people with small gloves. That's also who also is Ben Davidson's um, one of Ben Davis's fighters. And another one of Ben Davis's fighters is Billy Joe Saunders, who we all know test positive for steroids every time he gets a top 10 fight. So, I mean. There's not much. There's not much in conclusion here, but the people, if they really want to believe or you want to follow what everybody else tries to think, you know, so. Right. And so basically Ben Davidson, you're an asshole and this is not him. I'm saying this. Mm-hmm. You're an asshole mm-hmm. and you run a team of cheating fighters. That's what yeah. you do. And so uh, I'm glad that you gave us the, um, the, the science behind, you know, them putting the little, the little higher objects in the glove. Because, like I said, what I do know for a fact is Tyson Fury's hand was not all the way in that glove. No, no, you can clearly see that. Right, but what I don't know is if he also has something in it. And now that you said that, we don't, we need to check them damn gloves to see if it was something in them, let alone the fact that we know that his fist wasn't in them. Because them goddamn gloves was definitely flopping both fights. But uh, is it true? Let me pull this back up. Mm-hmm. Is it true that uh, this boxing coach Barry entity – Mm-hmm. Did you confront them about what they did to you in, in regards to them gloves, and how did that go? 
As soon as I found out about the gloves, I left that night on the airplane. I was like, you guys are playing, paying for all my shit. You guys are paying for everything. I'm leaving. And then he was like, no, please don't leave. Blah, blah. And I was like, no, fuck this. It's been unprofessional. As soon as I got there, they didn't give me any food. They just told me this was my room was an Airbnb. And then they told me they, they were supposed to pay for my food and all that shit. I went there and paid for all my food. And sparring, you have them. They pay for food. They give you a gratuity daily. And then they pay you weekly for sparring. I didn't get paid in agreements to what we had. I didn't get paid. I got my money used up and I was homeless at the time. And then I ended up flying back. And then um, I ended up uh, sparring Tyson Fury and ended up feeling severe pain in my, my ribs and one point in my head because he only landed two punches, but I could feel his knuckle in the punches. It wasn't like I got rocked or anything. It's like, I feel like if you ever got hit with like, um, uh, like as opposed to somebody putting their fist like wrapping their hand, uh, a hand, a, a pillow around their fist and punching you. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? As y'all heard, a witness confirming Tyson Fury tampered glove accusations, no other than Nicholas Asbury, Tyson Fury own sparring partner, that accused him of tampering with his glove during sparring. What a coincidence! Usually, where is smoke, there's fire. So the million dollar question, how long old media and all of y'all decafs are gonna avoid or ignore the smoke? Is it till it gets too foggy for y'all to see? Because it's getting there. It's an epidemic of boxing as we speak. This grew faster than the coronavirus or just as fast. And don't use the smoke to why y'all can't see the logical hard evidence right in front of y'all faces. Don't go Professor Stevie Wonder on me starting to wonder instead of being able to see what's right in front of y'all faces. Because if there's a robber and he robbed a bank and he went to court and there's hard evidence and footage of him robbing the bank with a gun, then of course he will be arrested. However, y'all want to ignore the logical hard evidence and even a witness just to put icing on the cake. So just to put things in perspective, first things first, shout out to Young Pharaoh. He did a great interview with Nicolius Asbury. He's a boxer and y'all most likely remember him for going viral, busting Tyson Fury using tampered gloves and sparring in order to hurt his opponents and gain power. Nicolius Berry actually captured footage of this as y'all see above, which I also reported on it. But the main point is, make sure y'all check out Young Pharaoh full interview, which was more than an hour long with Nicolius Berry on Young Pharaoh channel, which I'ma leave the link in the description box below. It was a great informative interview. So make sure y'all click on the link and check out Young Pharaoh interview. With that being stated, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these decafs slash old media who want to post videos of Tyson Fury talking about the coronavirus. Like, we'd rather take the advice from Tyson Fury than all of these media outlets and even presidents speaking on the manner. However, when it comes to reporting on the real news, which is Tyson Fury relinquishing his license to fight in the UK, giving up on a mega fight with Anthony Joshua in the UK, all to avoid justice for bribing a 70 year old farmer to lie in court and avoid an eight year ban by Yukata, which by his actions alone, he actually pleaded guilty. However, old media rather report on some BS than focus on the real life issues that's affecting boxing as a whole. That's why it's out with the old and in with the new and new media is in the house. So welcome to Aki's investigation. And let's go ahead and dive into the business at hand. So as y'all heard, Nicholas Asbury, Tyson Fury sparring partner, accused and claim by stating that Tyson Fury took a lot of padding out of the glove when he picked it up and another glove had an egg weight in it, which Nicholas Asbury believes that Tyson Fury could have easily placed the egg weight inside of the glove around the area where he took a lot of padding out, which is very possible. And that explains why the glove was rotating in 90 degrees when Tyson Fury threw a hook on more than one occasion in both of the Deontay Wilder fights. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, no one from old media have explained 
while Tyson Fury glove was rotating in 90 degrees when throwing a left hook. Not a jab like Teddy Atlas tried to deflect. And actually, I have already made a video on that, debunking everything Teddy Atlas had to say. However, no one had an answer to my questions. And the video called Aki Killshot. So I'm going to leave it in the comment section below. However, just to make it clear, I'm talking about throwing a left hook where the glove rotates in 90 degree. And no one had the answer to that question. From Teddy Atlas to Pauli Malignaggi have explained why every time Tyson Fury threw a left hook, the glove rotated in a 90 degrees. And when he landed it, he slapped with it instead of landing with his fist closed, which he could have easily broke his hand on more than one occasion doing that. However, old media want to act like they deaf every time they hear the truth. And they rather hide from the truth instead of face it. But by doing so, y'all can't hide the truth because it's already out there. And like I always say, the difference between a human and an animal is that Allah, God blessed us with having a brain to think with. So we could logically make sense out of the situation. Now, if you tell me that someone put egg weight in the glove and his hand wasn't all the way in the glove. So when he threw a hook, it rotated in 90 degree because the egg weight pushed the glove back. Then that explains that situation. That logically makes sense. Because if you claim that the glove haven't been tampered with, then why will the glove rotate in 90 degree? And let's not act ignorant. Explain to me and make sense out of this situation and these allegations if Tyson Fury is innocent. That's all I'm saying. Because Teddy Atlas, which I'm questioning, is he smarter than the fifth grader? He said the commission is there. That's the reason why. You see the deflection? He did not answer the question. However, I already have finished him on kill shot. But just to repeat myself, where was the commission? When Margarito cheated against Cotto using loaded hand wraps, where was the commission and why didn't they bust Margarito cheating against Sugar Shane Mosley? Why it had to take Sugar Shane Mosley trainer in order to do so? Why wasn't it the commission? Were the commission not doing their job every time Margarito fights? But now all of a sudden, they doing their job when Tyson Fury is fighting a guy that has a track record of cheating in the past. And this is a perfect example of double standards in the sport of boxing. Since Tyson Fury has the complexion for the protection, his hope insurance covers everything. And I mean literally, even when there's hard evidence, proof, and even witnesses. When it comes to both the glove gate accusations from the hard evidence that we could see right in front of our faces and Nicolius Asbury being the witness, and on the other hand, Tyson Fury, UCOD failed drug test, blaming it on the wild boar. That's like the wildest excuse and the dustiest excuse I ever heard by Tyson Fury. And even having a witness care foot. Y'all see where I'm coming from? Even Stevie Wonder don't have to wonder what's happening in boxing. He could clearly see it. But y'all gonna be blind to the truth? However, y'all can never, ever hide the truth and our key just like Floyd May with a favorite quote rather be hated for telling the truth than be loved for telling a lie I'm like that doctor when you go to the doctor you want to know the truth you don't want the doctor to lie to you and tell you you're gonna be a-okay when you're not so I'm just like that doctor that's why all of y'all here all of y'all decafs that claim in the comment section every single time. Aki, why you stay preaching the truth? Why don't you report a lie? Just like old media. Well, guess what? New media, we cut different. And that's why y'all decavs always end up clicking on my videos. And even though all of these decavs, aka dumb casual ass fans, stay complaining in the comment section, not making any logical sense, just talking ish, not responding to any of my questions. However, they be the first one to comment. How ironic. Now, how idiotic is that? 
Y'all decavs never fail to amaze me wanting to hear the truth and seek out the truth, which Aki always delivers. And even though I love all my haters, Aki more so appreciates his Aki family and all my broskis. But that's beside the point. The point is, if you claim Tyson Fury didn't tamper with his glove and his fist wasn't located where the palm of the hand supposed to be placed, then how you logically explain why Tyson Fury left glove was rotating in 90 degrees every time he threw a left hook against Deontay Wilder? Explain that logically. And remember, for every action there's an equal and an opposite reaction in boxing, in life, and in science. So for all of y'all educated people out there, sciencely explain to me how the glove is rotating in 90 degrees. And also explain the way he was landing, slapping, crooked without breaking his wrist throughout the fight in the first and second fight. So if you're gonna explain one thing, explain the other and all of the other allegations. So if it ain't one thing, it's the damn other. And you can't logically explain that without confirming the allegations. And if the glove wasn't tampered with, then clearly there was an egg weight in the glove for it to rotate that far. It's impossible, ladies and gentlemen. You either have to be alien or non-human for that to happen with your wrist. And the way Tyson Fury landed it too, oh, it's over. He definitely broke his hand. But like I said, logically explain that and prove Tyson Fury innocence. And please, during this crisis, don't bury yourself alive the way Ben did. Tyson Fury, former trainer. And he's in on the dirt as well. So anything he say is thrown out the window. And I already have exposed him of doing this. But y'all can hear in the clip that I'm about to play. Him telling Tyson Fury during the Deontay Wilder fight, use your left hand. You that thousand times better than him. You could beat him with your left hand alone. Don't use your right hand. But if he a thousand times better than Wilder, why he have to cheat in order to win is the million dollar question. Allegedly. What did I tell you when we took this fight? You'll beat him with your left hand. Yeah? Don't worry about that. That'll come naturally when he's there. Don't get greedy with that. Don't get complacent. You will beat him with your left hand alone. Now, if you can't logically explain all of the allegations, then Tyson Fury is guilty, according to y'all defenders. However, if y'all could prove his innocence, please be my guest and do so. Like I told y'all time and time again, only a cheater knows how to get away with cheating. So if you bring an innocent man and tell him to explain how a cheater got away with cheating, it's only so much he could do. But so many fighters have spoken out from Errol Spence retweeting it to Max Kellerman and ESPN to Charles Martin and Tyson Fury on Countryman George Grove. And we saw even a world champion, a former world champion that gave Tyson Fury his toughest fight to this day, according to Tyson Fury himself, Steve Cunningham, which I'm going to have a pleasure of interviewing him sometime soon. But he made a video, which I'm going to leave in the comment section below, displaying how Tyson Fury could have got away with cheating. And I told y'all on that video, it's hard for an innocent guy to display exactly how Tyson Fury cheated because only a cheater knows how to get away with cheating, allegedly. Furthermore, the egg weights could be the answer and the explanation to everything on the glove gate accusations. For the people that's not informed on what's an egg weight, egg weight is actually a new invention of weights for fighters to shadow box with. It's smaller. If you want it to be heavier, you could order one that's more in dense with mass. It's easier to hold while shadow boxing is very small. You could stick your middle finger in the middle and it won't slip out of your hand like a regular weight. So fighters have been using that to shadow box with. 
So it's very possible that Tyson Fury could have easily used an egg weight if he allegedly didn't tamper with his glove or all of the above. You just never know with Tyson Fury. I mean, that's geniusly criminal. So what y'all think about Tyson Fury's sparring partner accusations and him actually seeing egg weight in the glove? And even though I know the corruption in boxing is real, however, just like they say, expect the unexpected. And I definitely didn't see this coming. But shout out to Nicholas Asbury as he exposed this and talked about it with Young Pharaoh. Make sure y'all check and watch the whole interview. Make sure y'all drop y'all comments and all of y'all decafs. If y'all want to debunk this, go ahead and make logical sense of this without making yourself look idiotic in the comment section. So with that being stated, I have seen and peeped all of y'all concerns over the UCOD case with Tyson Fury and the fact that he relinquished it, but they focused on that so much, which a lot of people believe is a deflection over the glove gate accusations. Turning the focus away from what Tyson Fury did wrong recently to something he did wrong absolutely five years ago. So yes, that could be a deflection or Tyson Fury pass hunting him because karma is real. You never know. But one thing we do know, that hope insurance cover everything from erasing losses to erasing your past if you cheated, allegedly or not, even if it's a fact, they still gonna erase it. But you can hide from the truth. However, you can never ever hide the truth. And like I always say, subscribe below if you wanna know some shit about boxing. Word to my man, Roger Mayweather, may he rest in peace. And subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these decafs slash old media. Shout out to DBN for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is attend the IQ University every Sunday live on Split Decision. is a boxing debate slash talk show that I invented where I keys pound for pound number one when it comes to debate, the past, present, and future. So call in, tune in. If you want to talk boxing, we could talk boxing. If you want to debate boxing, we could debate boxing. So to each your zone, shout out to Lunatune for the funniest boxing memes. If a pitcher says a thousand words, his pitcher says a million words. And of course, follow me too at Aki TV on Instagram and cop the Aki merch. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Aki TV. Aki stands for my brother. This is the Boxing Brotherhood. And peace. We at you. Look at this shit, man. And then, hold on. These are the spawn gloves they told me they got for me. Let's these got ass, look at, hold on, let's see. Let's see. Watch the squeeze. And guess what? That's the same brand he fought in during fight night. Those gloves are the same brand he fought in during fight night. Oh, he, he didn't fight in the Everlast brand during fight night. He fought in that brand, that UK uh -oh. brand. So those is his fake. Those is the gloves where he be talking about. Those is the ones he won or he yeah. not gonna fight. That, that's when you see his cut man going on on the internet saying, "Oh, we never cheated in gloves." They laid out all Tyson Fury's gloves, and then he had different gloves, and he's like, "We use these gloves for this." And then he had those Everlast padlock gloves, but he said he used those for bag. But in the build up to the fight, if you watch the like behind the scenes, Tyson Fury's getting ready to spar and puts on those Everlast gloves, caught right there. Like, and Ooh. then. That, and then that and then that cut man that cut man is wasn't even in camp during the time he just came during the auto the auto fight the Wyland auto fight that's when he came into play he wasn't in camp in the uh, at uh, Freddie Roach's gym downstairs during the time this happened so yeah so he should, so basically in other words he needs to be quiet yeah he can't say nothing he can't say absolutely nothing this person's Instagram boxing mm -hmm. coach Barry mm -hmm. and what he said as I read his statement I'm gonna let you you know jump in on it mm -hmm. is because. Initially, Tyson Fury's team said that, you know, they did it. They, they they took the padding out so he could allegedly gain confidence. And then they doubled back and just tried to cover it up and say that they never did that. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting words in your mouth. I'm going to yeah. go on my own. Let me say this. Yeah. This is me. This has nothing to do with the person I'm interviewing. I'm saying this. Y'all know how white people do. When mm -hmm. you catch when you catch white people lying, the first thing they do is they say you're crazy. And you're a conspiracy theory. We all 9-11, yep. and they sat here and told us, all oh, we're crazy. The first thing white people do when you catch them lying is they act like you have a mental health issue. Yep. And that's, <laughs> that's the first thing they do. And so that's what they did. First, they tried to admit it and say, oh, you know, whatchamacallit. 
we wanted him to gain confidence. And then they tried to paint the picture as if this man is crazy and we're all crazy for thinking that 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 they would ever take the pads out of the gloves. And so I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to read this uh, statement left by boxing coach Barry. And then you can tell us if this was really left on your Instagram so people can know this is not Photoshop. And mm -hmm. then you can tell us who this person is, why he's important and what he has to do with the situation. And I'm going to read the statement now. Okay. 